Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on different triangles. Triangles can be classified by the size of the angles and or the length of the sides. The following are some examples of different types of triangles. So the first triangle we're looking at here is called the right angled triangle. And what that means is that one angle is a right angle. And there it is there. So you can either have that symbol there. That actually means it's a right angle. But we've also included the degrees here to let you know that that actually means 90 degrees. And those two angles here, angle A and angle B, they're acute angles. They're less than 90. And that has to be the case because we learned earlier that the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. You'll see here that I've included the word hypotenuse and in a right angle triangle the side which is opposite the right angle which is that one and that's the longest side is called the hypotenuse. The next triangle is called an acute angled triangle. Here we have a triangle where each angle is less than 90 degrees. And here they are there. You can see quite clearly just by the diagram. Each of those angles is less than 90 degrees. But when you add the three of them up, you have 180 degrees. The next type of triangle is the obtuse angled triangle. Here one angle is greater than 90 degrees and that's this one here. So that angle is greater than 90 degrees hence it's called an obtuse angled triangle. We have the scalene triangle. Three sides are different lengths and the three angles are different sizes. So these little strokes here you've got one stroke there two strokes here and three strokes there. When you have strokes that are different, not the same, that means the sides are not the same. In fact the three of them are different because all the, the strokes are different. And it's the same with the angle. Here you've got one little curve, two curves and three curves. That means that all the angles are different. And that's why it's called a scalene triangle. With the equilateral triangle the three sides are the same length and the three angles are equal. See here you've got one stroke, one stroke and one stroke. That means all the sides are equal. <coughs> Hence that leads to the fact that all the angles are equal and they must be 60 degrees. Because 3 times 60 degrees gives you 180 degrees. Finally we have the isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal and the angles opposite each of those sides are equal. So those two sides are equal. So that angle there is equal to that angle there. Because the sides opposite, sorry, the angles, the angles that are opposite to the equal sides are equal. And that's why it's called an isosceles triangle. So this, <coughs> excuse me, this video has introduced us to some different types of triangles and we can classify these triangles by looking at either the lengths of the sides or we can have a close look at what angles there are and by doing that we can attach a name to the given triangle. <coughs>